इंट्रोडक्शन दी वेदर इज टू गुड रोहित यस दीपक लुक एट हियर रोहित दे आर लॉट्स ऑफ फ्रॉग्स जंपिंग इन द वॉटर वेयर डू दे कम फ्रॉम दे कम ऑट ड्यूरिंग रेनी सीजन बिकॉज देर इज नो थ्रेट ऑफ गेट ड्राइड हाउ डू दे ब्रीथ गुड क्वेश्चन दीपक फ्रॉग्स यूज इंटरनल गेल्स एंड देयर स्किन फॉर ब्रीदिंग अंडर वॉटर एंड दे ऑल्सो यूज लंग्स फॉर ब्रीदिंग इन एयर देयर स्किन इज स्लिपरी with mucus and is always kept moist one interesting thing i would like to tell you that adult frogs do not have tail and a tail is present in tadpole let's know more about it in this lesson you will learn morphology and anatomy of animals objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to describe morphology and anatomy of earthworm describe morphology and anatomy of cockroach describe morphology and anatomy of frog earthworm earthworm ferretima posthuma belongs to phylum annelida oligochaetae it is used for type study because of the following reasons it occurs all over the world except the arctic and antarctic regions it is easily available it is harmless to handle its size is a convenient for study its morphology is well studied morphology earthworm has long cylindrical and bilaterally symmetrical body the anterior end of the body is pointed and adapted for burrowing while the posterior end is more or less blunt a full grown earthworm is usually 4 to 6 inches in length and less than a quarter or inch in diameter the body surface is marked into body segments by transverse annular grooves the numbers of segments are more than 100 morphology prostomium and peristomium the head is not distinct in earthworm at the extreme anterior end is a conical fleshy lobe known as prostomium which overhangs the mouth The mouth is a ventral opening in the first segment which is called the peristomium. The prostomium is sensory in function and with its help earthworm can discriminate between light and dark. Clitellum in adult worm a prominent band of thickened and glandular skin. The clitellum encircles the body in 14th, 15th and 16th segments. Cite each segment except the first and the last is provided with small cuticular bristles or setae these are slightly curved or s shaped bodies with tapering ends composed of horn like substance the chitin anatomy body wall of an earthworm is thin soft slimy brownish and shiny cuticle is the outermost layer of the body wall below the cuticle there is a single layer of cells called epidermal cells the epidermis in the region of clitellum is very much thickened and highly vascular the clitellar glands secrete albumin which participates in the formation of cocoon alimentary canal the alimentary canal of earthworms is in the form of straight tube It starts from mouth in the first segment and ends into anus situated at the posterior end. Mouth is small, crescentic aperture placed mid-ventrally in the first segment and protected by fleshy prostomium. The pharynx is a small, thick-walled and pear-shaped chamber which extends from third to fifth segments. The dorsal wall of pharynx is thick and bulb-like. and is known as pharyngeal bulb oesophagus is a long thick walled narrow tube extending from 5th to 8th segment gizzard is a hard thick walled oval chamber present in 8th and 9th segments its wall is highly muscular and consists of a thick layer of circular muscles alimentary canal the gizzard terminate into a long tubular stomach which extends from 10th to 14th segments its walls are highly muscular and glandular and thrown internally 
into numerous folds. Intestine Intestine starts after 14th segment as a thin walled white tube with wrinkled outer surface. The internal lining is thrown into small folds called villi. One of the villi becomes larger and well developed forming typhlo sole which hangs in a lumen of intestine from its dorsal wall. The part of intestine lying in the segments from 15th to 26th is known as prethyphlo solar region. Its walls is highly vascular and internally folded to form villi. No tiflosol is found in this region. Starting from the 26th segment and occupying approximately 23 or 24 segments lies the tiflosolar region of the intestine. The rectum occupies last 24 and 25 segments and is without tiflosol and villi. Circulatory system Earthworm has a closed circulatory system consisting of heart, blood vessels and blood. Blood glands produce blood cells and hemoglobin which remain dissolved in plasma and blood glands present in 4th, 5th and 6th segment of the body. Four pair of heart with veils are present in segment 7, 9, 12 and 13. Contractions of the heart keep the blood circulating in one direction. Smaller blood vessels supply blood to the elementary canal, nerve cord and the body wall. Blood cells are phagocytic in nature. Respiratory system There is no specialized respiratory system. Exchange of respiratory gases occurs between the gases that dissolve in the moisture of the skin and the underlying blood vessel of the body wall. It is called cutaneous respiration. Excretory organs A tubular excretory organ is called nephridia. It is of three types, septal, integumentary and pharyngeal. Septal nephridia these are the largest nephridia of ferritima. They are attached to both the faces of each intersegmental septum behind 15th segment. The typical septal nephridium consists of three main parts, nephrostome, body and terminal duct. Integumentary nephridia. These nephridia lie scattered on the entire inner or parietal surface of body wall in each segment except the first two. Pharyngeal nephridia. These occur as paired tufts on either side of pharynx and oesophagus in 4th, 5th and 6th segments. Each tuft consists of hundreds of coiled branched tubules without nephrostomes. Nervous system. A pair of suprapharyngeal or cerebral ganglia are fused to form a brain that lies in the anterior and dorsal part of the third segment. It is connected to two subpharyngeal ganglia lying below the pharynx with the help of a pair of circumpharyngeal connectives that form a nerve ring. A double ventral nerve cord runs up to the last segment. Ganglia are segmentally arranged on the nerve cord and give off nerves to the organs of the segment concerned. Sensory system. Earthworm has receptor cells for light and touch, that is, tactile senses. They can sense the light intensities and feel the vibrations on the ground. They also have chemoreceptors which react to chemical stimuli. All these sensory structures are present in the anterior segments of the body. Reproductive system. The earthworm is a hemophrodite or Monoecious, that is, both the ovaries and testes are present in the same individual. There are two pairs of testes present in the 10th and 11th segments, one pair in each segment. Each testis is enclosed in a testis sac. Each testis sac opens into a spermiducal funnel, which opens into a long vasa deferens. Pair of large prostate gland is present on each side of the intestine from 17th to 20th segments. Two pairs of accessory glands are present, 
one pair in each of 17th and 19th segments. The common prostate and spermatic duct opens to the exterior by a pair of male genital pores or the ventrolateral side of the 18th segment. Four pairs of sac-like structures called spermatheke are found one in each of the 6th to 9th segments. During copulation, a pair of earthworms exchanges sperm. The sperm is stored in sacs called spermatheke until it can be transferred to an egg. In some species, this is done externally. The earthworm secretes a cocoon in which it deposits its egg and its mate's stored sperm. The baby earthworms emerge from the cocoon nearly fully developed but very small. They grow to a full size over the course of approximately one inch. Cockroach Cockroaches are insects with long antennae and legs which feed on scavenging. Morphology The body of the cockroach is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen region. The cockroach has sensory antennae which helps them to monitor their surrounding environment.